Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I hope everything is finding you well. Um, this is uh, obviously a different time for this stream. Um, it is 1 p.m. as opposed to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I had a commitment that I had to do this morning, um, and I actually didn't get done till about uh, 10.30, uh, almost 11 o'clock. Uh, so um, I am happy to be doing this now. Let's go ahead and do all the stuff that we always do uh, before I uh, finish um, start, talk to the chat. That's the words I was thinking of. Oh, 1 p.m. and I guess my brain shuts down. So I, first off, I'm going to like myself. I'm going to go over to the Twixverse and I'm going to let everybody know I'm live. And then I'm going to go to the Threadosphere and um, let them also know. Um, let me get my Twitch on here just in case anybody cares. So we'll post this over here on Twitch, Twix, I mean, and then we will go over to the Threadosphere here. Let's go over here and we'll post it there. So ah. oh well, that'll be fine. We'll just post it here like that. So that is done. And now I believe we are good with everything that I need to do. Um, you know what I didn't do? I am a felling. I completely did not get my show notes for today. So here we go. So let's uh, bring this here. Uh, I'm pushing on my headset. So here we go. So I actually have my comments here today. I finally finished that build yesterday. And I guys got to tell you something somewhat harrowing. Um, I was moving it to the shelf and it started tipping. You know where the waterfall kept falling apart? And I was terrified, terrified that... Um, it was going to fall apart before I even got, you know, and I was going to have to work on it. And I would have been so, 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 so upset. But it didn't. I got it there. I'm going to put a little sign that says fragile. Do not move. Um, and we will be good. Uh, Corey came by this morning. Uh, well, maybe I'll see you this afternoon. Um, I hope to. Um, Hope you have a great day with your family um, if you don't get by here. And let's see, we have Sci-Fi Mommy saying good morning. Good morning to you. Um, and, oh, she was at 10 o'clock. Uh, yes, and we are at 1 today. Whoops. Um, let's see, we have uh, Snorter Poop is at 12.53. Hello, Snorter Poop is Cuba. I hope you are doing well. And we have Mr. Angel at uh, one o'clock says, hello, be back in five. Okay, I will see you in five then. Uh, we have SiriBot and we have Stream Elements over on Twitch. We have Dadman. Um, hi, Mrs. Love you. Have a great stream. Thank you. I will. I know this isn't 10 a.m. It is very confusing to me also. Um, but uh, like I said, I had, had a, a commitment today. And instead of not doing the show at all, I thought I would do it at 1 o'clock. So we'll see how it goes. And we have co-host Vic saying, hey, Mrs. Dadman. Hello, co-host Vic. I hope you are doing well today. We have hellos and hellos and hellos and hellos. And Dadman is actually can be over on Twitch today. Very, very nice. And we have some more hellos. Uh, be back quickly grabbing tea. Uh, says back quickly grabbing tea. Be right back. I need something hot. I'm freezing my behind off. Well, you will warm up actually. I need to get my uh, little, uh, I don't even have my brain. I don't have nothing up here. Let's get all everything up here. It looks so naked. It looks so naked. Um, 
Let's see here. I need to do one of these that doesn't say good morning because it's not good morning, is it? It is afternoon. So let's just take this one. Let's do a quick little edit here. We'll just take that off here and we'll open. Oh, yeah, we can do this one. Let's save it. And then let's scroll it. There we go. So we are all ready for this. Um, the first thing I do want to say, though, is to um, remember to, uh, if uh, if you can possibly, to support Team Park Streamers as they raise money for uh, Children's Hospital of Orange County. You can, uh, if you've already given or can't give, that's okay. If you could get the information out there, uh, HTTPS. So I'll type it in here. If you guys could take and post that in different social media sites. If you can. If you can't, that's okay too. That um, can uh, uh, get the new information out and uh, maybe help them um, raise their $5,000. Right now, they are at Let's check here real quick. $3,821. They seem to be a little stagnant there. So let's see if we can give them a little push over that to, um, to get closer to their goal. So what do we do? We are doing puzzles. Um, oh, yeah, let me tell you about this. I got the bill done. I was so happy I got the bill done, right? I go to move it. Because I have to, because I got to do another build next week, which is going to be the Friends TV show. So I go over there to do it. So I kind of move a spot so I don't have to, you know, mess with it real, real much. And I pick it up and it starts tipping. And I'm like, ah! And it broke the waterfall broke off. So I, I set it back down and I work the pieces back in and, uh I was like, if it broke now, I was going to be so blasted upset. But it didn't, and so I got it put in the shelf. But what I would like to do is I would like to make a bookcase. And instead of putting just the back on that they have, I would like to put a like a plexiglass back on where you could obviously see through it because it's plexiglass. And do it where you can see both sides because so many of my builds, the back sides, or what they consider the back sides, are as awesome as the front sides. And so instead of having to pull it out and look at it, it could be where you can just walk around it. So that is something I would like to do. I think that would be very, very cool. I did get my final gift in last week, which was a bookcase, which I'm going to put together. And I'm going to put some more of my of my smaller builds in there for that. So, um yeah, I'm so glad I got that one done. It looks really, really awesome. I need to, I've got some pictures. I need to post them on, um, on Twitter. Um, and, uh, so you guys can see them because I didn't. So, uh, let me, let me do that real quick. Let's see. How do we do quack? Let me do it real quack, everybody. Um, I don't know how to put. Somehow you have to do something. What does that do? Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, here it is down here. So I need to add a picture. So it can only put pictures in that I select. Oh, how annoying. This is really annoying. So we're going to add these three photos here. And so then I'm going to go add those. Just make that one one, that one two, that one two, and that one three. So we're going to add these photos. And I'm going to go ahead and put them um, so that you guys can see them. I put finally finished Sakura house build. 
Okay, so I got those posted on uh, Twix if you guys want to see them. Um, after these messages, I'll be right quack. <laughs> so I've got them posted there. Um, I should have done it earlier, but there now you guys can go over there to the Twix, Twixville and uh, see them. Um, so cool. Okay, it is now 10 minutes past the hour. It is 110 in my neck of the woods, which as we all know, is the east coast of the United States. And I am so happy to be here today. But it is now, you guessed it, puzzle time. And I tell you, the puzzle yesterday was brutal to me. I don't know why. I just could not figure it out. And if it wasn't for Mikey Susie 4, I don't know if we would have even finished it. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Mikey Susie 4, for that. So here we go. Our daily sequence. Um, I was trying to think of a different word between adieu. I, I had a word that had all the letter, all the vowels but U. It started with the O, but I can't remember it. I said, I'll do this next time. So what word can have a D, an A, an I, and an E in it? Nope. I don't know. Well, we'll do I do. So we have a I which is not in the third spot. So when it's not in the third spot, I've tried to figure. Oh, congratulations to Mikey. And, 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 and their beloved to both of them, to the couple. Very cool. So what word can we do that has an I? And I like to try to put the O in there. Uh, let's see. What word can we do? Usually I have one, but I, all of a sudden I can't think of it. P-I-L-O-T. We'll do pilot. That gets that I in a different spot. It lets us use that other vowel, which is an O. And the I goes into the second spot. And there is an L. Hmm. So, uh, but the L is not in the third spot. So today is National Amaretto Day, a national day calendar, which is one of the sources that I get my um, information from. Uh, the other two are Days of the Year and NationalToday.com, all of them websites, uh, says about National Amaretto Day. In Italian, that word amaretto means a little bitter because it is made from bitter almonds or apricot kernels or both. Makers infuse it in pure alcohol or brandy, resulting in a strong almond flavor. This traditionally Italian liqueur carries a reputation for being very fragrant. So National Amaretto Day. Don't want to accidentally throw that there. So uh, what word can it be? The only vowel is an I. There might be a Y, but the only vowel that we know of the, out of the five is an I. And there is an L, but not in the third spot. So let's see. I was thinking silky, but the L is in the second, third spot, so that won't work. Um, nope, L cannot be in the third spot. Forget it. <laughs> 
So let's see. And I want to use an E and I can't because it's not in there. Huh. What could this word be? Nope, L cannot be in the second spot, third spot. I know. Huh. I have so many words with the L in the third spot. L that can't have an E. There's no E. The only vowel out of the A E I O U is I. It's National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day. This day aims to raise awareness and effectively rid homes of unused or expired prescriptions and over-the-counter medications sitting in medicine cabinets, nightstands, or kitchen cabinets that have the potential for misuse or abuse by family members, friends, or visitors. How do you dispose of expired or unused medication is just as important as why. I need to have an L in it, Dad, man. There has to be an L. Environmental studies show that flush medications flow into our water supply. They negatively impact the fish we eat and the water we drink. When discarded in the trash, medications leach into the and contain the soil. Hey, studying uh, boobs. Uh, no. Um, search how to dispose unused medications to find a nearest disposal location in your neck of the woods, in your area. So let's see. Um, L. Oi, stunning. So I wonder if it could be L I. See, I thought maybe light, but there's no T. L I. And how about links? Maybe we'll try links. And who do we have? We have a hello, Jedi Bill. How are you doing? I'm doing good today. How are you doing? So how about we try links? That gives us all the different letters. So let's see. It's not links, but the I is in the second spot. The L has to be in the third or fourth. Oh, is it this word? How about vinyl, everybody? We had this word yesterday. And that Y is that sometimes Y in the English language is a vowel. So vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and try this one. It was vinyl. That, did, that wasn't too bad. It only took us three guesses, four guesses. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, we've won when we've taken more guesses on the first word. So we have a Y, which is not in the fourth spot, and an I, which is in the third spot. So those are all that we have. And the letters we can use are the ones that are lighter colored white and not these darker colored ones. So we don't know where Y goes, but I is in the third spot right here. Hmm. Oh, stunning. I don't know if I said hello. I just said no. So hello, stunning. How are you doing this afternoon? At least afternoon in my neck of the woods. So our second word, I have no idea what it is. It is also rice ball day. Days of the year says this Japanese staple is delicious, adaptable, nutritious, and cheap. So choose your favorite way or a few ways to dress your rice ball and enjoy this sticky delicacy. 
Okay, perhaps it could be more profound, but the sentiment is clear. To us, at least, rice balls have such an amazing variety of flavors and textures that being a rice ball just means you're the most interesting thing in the basket. In case you don't know what a rice ball is, they're pretty much exactly what it says. It's a ball of rice. But that's just the beginning. If you're already familiar with rice balls, then National Rice Ball Day is just for you um, to have the excuse to indulge in what no doubt is your favorite treat. If not, then get ready for a flavor extravaganza that's going to open your world. Rice balls are wonderful because you can put anything in the middle when you make it a ball. And then you can enjoy it. And sometimes rice balls are rectangular, so they're not really balls per se, but they can be. And they are absolutely delicious. You can put rice seasoning in with it. So there's so much you can do with uh, rice balls. So yeah, go out and enjoy some rice balls today. And DG Play Nice, we hello. We're trying to figure out what this word is. So you had, uh, you're working on Batman and Wonder Woman today. I saw some of your pictures, I think you posted on Twitter. Um, and it looked really, really good. So let's see if we can figure out what this word is. It has an I in the middle and a Y at the end. I have a few words it could be. But I'm going to let you guys... Uh, Pick one. See if you can figure out a word. No poll today? No. I did not do a poll. Let me look. So who is... Um, give me a second. Okay, I'm going to do favorite Looney Tune characters, but I am not going to put Bugs Bunny down, okay? So, we're going to do favorite, or I like this Looney Tune character best because, whoops, uh-oh, I just did something really weird here. So, oh no, okay. Um. As you know, I don't put favorite because I never put everybody's favorite. So I like this Looney Tunes character best. We have Foghorn Leghorn. We have Marvin the Martian. Uh, ba, ba, ba. We have, whoops, let me go to the right page. We have, come on, move out of the way. We have uh, Sylvester the Cat. And we have Roadrunner. Beep, beep. So that's our poll for today. I like this Looney Tune character best. Foghorn Leghorn, Marvin the Martian, Sylvester the Cat, or uh, Roadrunner. Yes, I am using StreamYard. Um, let's see. Let me get. Uh, yes, the Y. I will tell you, I think the Y might be at the end. Um, oh, there's Speedy Gonzalez and Slowpoke Rodriguez. Grim, Grimmy. There's so many. Um, there's so many. 
And yes, uh, Mr. Angel says, you all better vote for Mar Melvin the Martian. Marvin the Martian. Yes, I am using StreamYards. Um, I am using StreamYards. So what I'm thinking is, uh, Mr. Angel, because you don't use a Y a lot, um, is that I think the Y is at the end. So, like, I, this isn't one of the words, but, like, because you, it doesn't have an O, but foggy, F-O-G-G-Y. So, that's, um, um, now, grimy might have an E on it. Whoops, I put the wrong letter there. So, grimy, well, let's try grimy here. It's not grimy, but there's a G. And the I, oh, the I's in the third spot. So, um, goodness. I don't know what this word is. So there's a, oh, it was grimy. I'm sorry. <laughs> grimy was correct, Mr. Angel. I got confused. See, because it says, well, I don't know. The number two is, is green. So um, I'll let you know that you got it, Mr. Angel. Very good. So the next one has an I in the third spot, and there's a G, an E, and an N, which we don't know which way they go. So, um, oh, you said it first, and I missed you. I'm sorry. Yes, you did. I am so sorry, Stunning. So I thank Mr. Angel and Stunning for both doing that. Um, I thought that you were, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I thought that you were talking about a, um, <laughs> about a Looney Tunes character. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Stunning, for, uh, for uh, figuring out that word. I apologize for um, misunderstanding the intention. I thought you were trying to type a, a Looney Tunes character. So hmm. let's see how our poll's going. It hasn't been that long. Well, Roadrunner is number one with um, uh, three votes, and Marvin and Marvin the Martian and Foghorn Langhorn are on second, and Sylvester has zero. So we have, um, yeah, Grimy the Looney Tunes character, I know. <laughs> I too thought Grimy had an E, but apparently it doesn't. And hello, Bucky. How are you doing today? You just got back from grocery shopping. Oh, I hope you got some good food. Um, hope you got some good food. Um. Yeah, if you ever played Wordle, it's just Wordle kind of on steroids. So, Fane. Let's see if it's Fane. It was Fane. Yay! And then we have an A, a K, and an L. The A is not in the first spot. The L, it can only be in the second or third spot. I mean, second or fourth spot. And the K is not in the fourth spot. <laughs> uh, hello, Sue B. Seven twenty. How are you doing today? I hope you are well. Um, let's see. What do we have here? This is going pretty quick here. Let's see. Uh, thank you, DJ. Play nice. You have a good one. Um, and no, Becky is not from, Bucky is not back from surgery, is back from the groceries. Um, and we have a bunch of hellos. Uh, not, no surgery this time. Uh, clank. Uh, there is uh, no N. No N. And we have some, no, oh, it could be black. B-L-A-C-K. Let's try black. It is not black, but we have an L-A-C-K. So I think it's a double letter, and I think it's clack. 
Oh, clack. So let's see if it's clack. It was clack. Then we have a CRA in the first three spots, a blank, and then an L. It is congenital diaph diaphragmatic hernia action day. Um, from National Today, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH, is a condition that occurs when the diagram, which is a thin sheet of muscle separating the chest cavity from the abdomen, is not fully developed or has a hole in it. The partial development of the hole causes the organs from the abdomen, like the bowels, stomach, or liver, to move up into the ch chest cavity. CDH is a lesser known condition that is quite common throughout the world. We actually knew a um, someone who um, had CDH we, uh, since they were born. Um, and um, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's horrific because as the baby was being born, the, the organs went up and took and uh, Basically, one of the lungs wasn't developed because the organs were taking up that spot. Um, but uh, he is now in his teens. Uh, usually they don't survive. Um, but he is now in his teens and a fine looking young man, if I may say so myself. So um, prevention is the best way to... Um, uh, stop this from happening uh, by um, pr good prenatal care. So, crawl. Crawl stunning. I believe you said that. So, crawl. It is crawl. Then we have an S, a C, and N. We don't know where they go. An A in the third and a T in a fifth. Yes, it is amazing how far medicine has advanced. Um, it really, really is. Um, so, uh, for the longest time, he, uh, ha he had a feeding tube. And uh, then he started, uh, what he started eating, he liked Nutella. And so, they just fed him lots. And if he wanted, whatever he wanted to eat, they let him eat it because uh, he was learning. So, but yeah, uh, really cool. This, this, I just recently saw a picture of him at Easter time. And what a handsome young man he is. And we have scant. And then we have an S, a U, an I, a D. We don't know where they go. The S is at the first part of the words. And it is Sylvester the Cat's birthday, everybody. That's why we did the poll. On this day, many remember Sylvester's joy in their life, especially the end of chase scenes with Tweety Bird that both amused and endeared him to audiences worldwide. The significance of Sylvester's birthday lies in commemorating the character himself and celebrating the laughter and nostalgia he represents. Sylvester with his unmistakable catchphrase, suffering succotash, and his role as the perennial pursuer of Tweety has cemented his place in the hearts of those who grew up watching their antics. Sylvester's enduring appeal is a testament to the timeless quality of the Looney Tunes series and the ability to bring people together over shared memories and Laughter. Hello, Penny. How are you today? And uh, Jerry Mendoza, hello to you. I don't think I missed anybody. If I did, say hello again um, so that I can see you in the chat. The chat sometimes pop goes up really fast and I don't always uh, catch it if I'm down reading. So, yes, suffering succotash. So, let's see how our poll is going since we got some new people here and I believe you're correct stunning that in in just a moment uh we have nine votes we oh I have 20 200 I have a 222 subscribers 222 subscribers well wow. thank you everybody for subscribing that is so cool slowly but surely I'll get I'll get my numbers um I'm hoping that when I do it slow and steady like the tourists that um they'll stay and they won't disappear. <laughs> um, so, yes, we have 11 people watching. Well, thank you guys very much. We have uh, how many likes? We have 11 likes. Yay, everybody's liked. Uh, Foghorn Leghorn is second. But let's see, we have nine votes. The Roadrunner, beep, 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 beep. I can't do the Roadrunner noise. But Roadrunner is first. Then we have 
Foghorn Leghorn, I say, I say, and then Marvin Martian, don't make me angry. And then Sylvester the Cat, suffering succotash. I am not Mel Blanc at all, but that is my me 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 me. Um, so yes, very good, Bucky. That's very good. But I cannot do. That's the best of my impersonations of them. So, and we have squid, squid, squid. So let's type in squid and see if that is correct. And it is. And then we have a Q, a U, an L, and an M. We don't know how they go. And then an A, right dab smack in the middle. I think I said hello to you, Jerry. If I did not, hello, hello. And hello, Penny. Hello, Penny. Um, let's see. What else? It's National Cat Lady Day. I guess since it's Sylvester the Cat's birthday, we can have National Cat Lady Day also. Um, and National Cat from National Today, National Cat Lady Day takes place on April 19th. But if you own a cat, you know that there isn't a day that goes by that you don't celebrate your animal companion. So embrace your kitties and give your cat some catnip. That critter brings you joy, but that's not all. Pets not only steal our hearts, but they also help to improve general cardiovascular health by lowering cortisol, cholesterol, and blood pressure levels. I guess they calm you down. So National Cat Lady Day. And uh, yes, we need more love for Melvin, for Marvin, Marvin the Martian. So I guess I'm supposed to draw Catwoman today. Ooh, yes. So let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, celebrate, curse. It's the same thing. <laughs> you beg to differ. Qualm. Then we have a C, R, U, and then a D and an E. This one should be fairly easy, but I'll let someone type it in as I read the next celebration. It's National Hanging Out Day. National Day calendar. This is not what you think. It's not about hanging out with each other. This is about Project Laundry. Project Laundry List works with hundreds of other organizations to sponsor National Hanging Out Day. This encourages communities to learn about the benefits, both financially and environmentally, of using a clothesline for drying laundry. According to Project Laundry List's website, clothes dryers account for an astonishing 6 to 10% of residential energy consumption. Hanging your clothes out to dry also includes all these other benefits. You'll reduce the carbon footprint. You will save money. Fresh air and sunshine recharge our bodies in therapeutic ways. And clothes dried on a clothesline have a natural freshness. It encourages and it encourages us to slow down. So National Hanging Out Day. Miss Randall says more into cat girls than cat ladies, to be honest. And the word is crude, Becky. Don't be so crude. No, she's the one that guessed the word. Uh, yes, apparently that dryer must be very loud. Okay, this has an S and then a blank and then an I-N-K. So we have, we can repeat letters. So we have a Z, X, F, and J are what's left. I think these might start. I do laundry when it's raining when I can use the dryer. You have PTSD from hanging up your laundry. Well, I'll tell you, my um, sister, she has a rack that's in her house, and it's an amazing rack. It can hold a lot of clothes. And she uh, doesn't dry her clothes anymore. She, I, will, I am going to do a caveat and say they do have solar power also. But their bill was 30 Their electric bill last month was $38. Um, and says, my cat heard you say National Cat Lady Day and immediately jumped up on me and keeps putting her butt in my face. So your girlfriend is not allowed to touch your laundry, only you. Well, that's okay. I, anybody can do my laundry. I don't care. Please, 
please do my laundry. Please, I'm begging you to do my laundry. I really want someone to do my laundry. I don't care who, but anybody. So let's see if we can figure out this word. Give me one second. I'm going to take a sip of drink here. Okay, thank you guys so much. So Dadman says to Becky, it wasn't, uh, it was just laundry, not a Decepticon. And Becky said, it sounded like you were being attacked by a Decepticon. And then uh, Stunning says, skink for the word. Jeremy Nose says, I already did my laundry. And Hucky says, I agree. Anyone can do my laundry. Nobody has taken me up on it yet. Yes. And B Dadman says, Bucky, maybe Stunning sent one. So we have, whoops, not skink. Come on. Skink. There we go. It is skink. And then we have an S at the beginning, an I, or I in the third, and an E at the end, and a P and an R are the other letters. We have not, National Dog Parent Appreciation Day. Okay. Must be National Pet Month or something. National Day says this day is the dedicated to all the incredible hardworking dog parents who look after their pups with great care and responsibility. While being a dog parent is one of the greatest joys in the world, it is also a time-consuming and detailed-oriented task. That's no easy feat. We must use this day to appreciate those who fulfill the responsibilities and challenges of being a dog parent and give beautiful, wholesome lives to the pups of the world. Owning a dog is can be very difficult yeah you do your own laundry since you're eight uh, mr angel what's the bloody problem it's easy uh sure i just hate it There are just some chores i hate and that's one of them i don't know why but i do spire is correct we have an r in the second spine an ed at the end and a k and an i I just don't like doing, even if it's just my laundry, I don't like doing it. It's, I uh, just don't really like, it's just one of those, you know, some people like doing it. Some people like mowing the lawn. No, I don't like mowing the lawn. Irked. Irked is the word. And then we have a E, R E at the end and then a T. And that's all we know. Yes, it's like dishes. Even when it's done, you're going to need to do it again tomorrow. It never ends. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just the thing I don't like to do. It's World Jackal Day. Days of the year says jackals are related to dogs, foxes, coyotes, and wolves. But they are a unique species of their own occurring in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Other continents may have a species of animal that they refer to as a jackal, but scientific research has shown that these are not as closely related as it was pre previously believed. For instance, many people think that the dingo in Australia is a jackal, but while it may have jackal ancestors, the dingo is a separate species. World Jackal Day offers a delightful opportunity to learn a bit more about an obscure animal that might be familiar but is often misunderstood there 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 there's the word it's there yep and then we have a e n at the end and an m o w for the other three letters i just don't like doing it i just don't like doing it that's i it's just that simple. I don't like doing laundry. Women is correct. And then we have an N in the middle and a U, an I, and an E. Huh. Sometimes I don't like breathing if the pollution, if it smells outside, I wish I wasn't breathing. <laughs> and Sunny says, I only wash my clothes twice a week because mostly just wear my work clothes all week and they always get dirty. 
Yeah. Well, I found find also I I wear the same clothes over and over again, and it's like, yeah, I. It's just, it just is what it is. It's National Poker Day. National Today says we are getting ready to shuffle our cards and cut the deck. Playing poker is a great way to spend time with your family without having to talk or go on a big outing. Nothing beats a slow-paced game of cards for unwinding while having fun. Unless you guys, your family are crazy and competitive and are jerks. And then it's not relaxing. But you can also spice things up for playing for higher stakes with friends. Put your skills to the ultimate test and get rewards for your expertise. Claim tournament prizes or simply enjoy bragging rights among your peers. In some states in the United States, you have to be careful because even gambling with your friends is illegal. So take that post to uh, with a grain of salt. And you, yes. And Mikey says, I have to do a load of laundry every day. Pajamas day. When you have toddlers, laundry is never ending. You have to do pajamas day, clothes, hubbies, work clothes, towels, dish towels, stuffed animals, blankets, because kids are kids. Yes. Yes. And then we have a trunk. Hey, Atwood. Thank you for stopping by. And Mr. Harris says, you don't want to breathe? Well, that can be arranged for 200,000 Z blocks on a Swiss bank account. Six, 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 da, 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 at your service. <laughs> and trunk is this one. And this one has an O in the second, an ED at the end, and a M and a P. Uh, it is Poetry and Creative Mind Day. Um, and Becky says, Becky says, I don't have that much money. And says some hellos. Poetry and Creative Mind Days from Days of the Year says Creative Minds had led the way throughout all of history's innovations and growths. Through poetry and art, they challenged the idea of what's possible and shine a spotlight on the society that birthed them. Poetry and the Creative Mind Day is set aside to honor the bright and glittering jewels that are the minds of these creative pioneers. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, the tire's fixed. Good. So uh, here's another one um, I'm going to say real quick. It's really short. Refresh your goals day. National Today says this national holiday is a perfect opportunity, perfect opportunity to reevaluate and focus on your personal goals. Refresh your goals day reminds us to take action to renew and rejuvenate our health and wellness aspirations. And we have Miss Martin Muses. Hello, how are you doing today? Um, and we have Moped or Moped, whichever way you want to say it. Whoops, if I can spell it right. M-O-P-E-D. Um, so here we go. So it is Moped and we have a V and an R that we don't know where they go and an I and an E. And Mr. Angel says, current exchange rate for Z blocks to Earth money is a dollar per 10,000 Z blocks. Oh, so what could be, what could this one be, everybody? I think I know. I think it starts with an R. I V E R, yes. River, river. This one has a R at the beginning and then an A, a T, and uh o that are not used and an i is in the third <laughs> and buggy says mr angel i already said i just went grocery shopping i have no money anymore <laughs> the dad man is asking miss martin muses how they are today ratio r-a-t-i-o ratio and then we have champ and then we have an S and in the first word letter, an E in the third, and a T. And then we have a W and an A. 
Yes, and Mr. Ranch says, yeah, we have no idea what currency is. We don't use it. <laughs> so, sweat, S-W-E-A-T, sweat, yes. And then we have swoon. Who is perspiring? I tell you, I was perspiring yesterday trying to get that stupid um, build done, but I got it done. I shouldn't call it stupid. It wasn't. It was a challenging build. Then we have Cease. This one, Freer, is here. Whoops. And then we have a P, a T, and then a Y at the end. Um, we could duplicate letters. So if you guys know what this word is, we're going to get this puzzle fairly easy, I believe. Let me check while you guys are looking at that. And see how our poll is going. Paying $1 million for a burger. Is that much? It depends on the burger. I have seen burgers that have been expensive. We have 11 votes. Roadrunner in first. Foghorn Leghorn. Then Marvin the Martian. And Sylvester the Cat is in fourth. Petty. P-E-T-T-Y. Don't be a heartbreaker. And then we have C, L, I, and then an F, which is two Fs. So that's Cliff. And then we have Prong. And then we have Roast, which is already done. Then we have C, I, V, I. And uh, pretty obvious that this is a C for Civic. Then we have E, then, whoops, an E, and then a T, H. We don't know where to go. And a Y and an L. Yeah, don't be a remedy. Don't be a remedy. So we have that one. So E, T, H, Y, L, Ethel. And then we have A, B, L, E, D because we have a B. And then we have a, a, a B and A. We don't know where they go. An A in the second and the I, T in the third, a fourth and fifth. So I'll let you guys type in the last word. And then I have one more celebration, which I, I'm going to share with you, which will be uh, part of our memes. So have it. We have completed it. We have a green screen, a green screen. 53 minutes into the show We're at 153 um, in my neck of the woods, which is the East Coast of the United States. And the words are, I'm just going to arbitrarily read them, go up and down, sideways, whichever way I feel like. So we're going to read all the words today. We had vinyl, crude, moped or moped, petty, cliff, prong, row, civic, ethel, abled, habit, freer, trunk, qualm, squid, scant, crawl, clack, fain, grimy, skink, river, ratio, champ, sweat, swoon, cease, in you are, woman, women, sorry, there, irked, spire. And that is our words. Scant woman swoon Ethel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So those are our words today. We have solved this puzzle. Very good, everybody. Thank you so much for that. Now I'm going to read our last celebration today. And this is what our memes are going to be about. National Garlic Day, National Day Calendar. National Garlic Day celebrates a vegetable also known as the stinking rose. The fragrant and potent root has been seasoning dishes for thousands of years. This stinking rose is a member of the lily family. This family also includes the flavorable, flavorful onions, leeks, and shallots we use in some of our favorite dishes. Garlic originated in Asia over 7,000 years ago. So it's no surprise that cuisines worldwide incorporate it into flavorful dishes. Um, garlic is quite versatile as illustrated by its many medicinal purposes. The mighty bulb is considered an herbal remedy for colds and may reduce blood pressure and cholesterol. Everybody, I am not a doctor. Talk to your doctor before you do this. 
Okay. Modern science has also proven garlic's antibiotic properties. Myth and superstition reek of garlic. The most familiar ones suggest that garlic wards off vampires. This same theory seemed to work on witches, werewolves, demons, and other such evils one might cross. Folklore also tells us garlic grew from Satan's left footprint when he left the Garden of Eden. Okay, it would be kind of hard for him to have a footprint when he was a serpent, but, well, serpents might have had feet then, who knows. Greek midwives used garlic to keep evil spirits away and courage filled Roman soldiers who consumed the ball. Consider our dreams and garlic too. Our dreams that often have meaning and dreaming of garlic is no different. To dream about garlic in the house suggests good luck, and if the dream includes eating garlic, perhaps in a pesto sauce, there might be hidden secrets. Over 300 varieties of garlic grow around the world to dream about as well. So, National Garlic Day and Alaska Jeff, hello. Garlic is wonderful. I, uh, yes. Don't look, Ethel. But it was too late. And uh, yes, they call him the streak. That's that from that song, Becky. <laughs> looky there, looky there. He ain't wearing no clothes. <laughs> and yes, hell to the great garlic. Life would be tasteless without it. I agree totally. And uh, as Alaska Jeff said, garlic is great. Um, so let's get some of our uh, little accoutrements here. Let's see, uh, have this, and then we'll put this back so that we look good. Okay, so guess what time it is? It's time for something meaningful, the garlic edition. Dun, dun, dun. If garlic powder is from garlic, then what is baby powder? Ooh. <laughs> Just started off a little dark there. Mm -hmm. That could be very scary. Very, very scary. <laughs> yes, Bucky. <laughs> Dead man is the streak, but he had to retire because he has to keep a job. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you're like... I have the face for what dad man said or for the meme. <laughs> and the vi vampires have left the chat. <laughs> Boyfriends are cool and everything, but have you tried garlic bread? <laughs> oh, garlic bread. And it has, uh, why not both? <laughs> uh, I agree with you. They, they, those both were kind of, uh, Ah! <laughs> oh. Lord of Poopus, did you just pop in? Have you been here? Did I miss you earlier? You, you were at the very beginning of the show, weren't you? Yes, you were. Okay, good. Okay. I think I'm going crazy. My shows are all getting mixed up together here. Uh, so, hello again, Snortapoopus. It's been an hour since I said hello to you. So I must say hello again. The Titanic sank with approximately 3,000 pounds of garlic bread on board. Me? I'm going to get that garlic bread. Yes, you've been there from the beginning. I just, yes, his cloaking device works. Wee! Yeah, dad man. Okay, if you think so. If you think so. I forget. I say hi to so many people. And then I'm like, did I say hi yesterday? Or did I say hi this morning? Huh. Oh, I'm so confused. But anyway, yes, I would be riding to get that garlic bread. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your cloves. <laughs> what do you say to a garlic when he says he's, it's getting hot in here? Take off your cloves. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, one more YouTube video and I'm going to sleep. Uh, 3 a.m., 36 Reasons Why Garlic Bread is the Best Bread, Part 4. <laughs> I have sometimes, not necessarily garlic bread videos, I'll be honest, but have got sucked into, like, they have these, um, videos that they're, they're just doing um, food, but they're like uh, Asian, like J Japanese street food. And they just show these different booths and the food that they're making. Then they go to another one and they're like hours and hours. And I sit there mesmerized. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, it's 5 a.m. And Mr. Angel has been looking for that cloaking device, Mr. Snortapoopus Cuber. He couldn't find it anymore after I turned it on. But you can keep it. I have a few more now only to find them. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I love those videos. They're just like, it's so cool to watch them. And all the different foods. And how, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. They make, oh gosh. Mm. And then I want to figure out how to make them. Oh. Superman's greatest weakness is a green rock. Dracula's greatest weakness is a green veggie. <laughs> There's this one sandwich that they make, and they use a thick toast, and they it's like, I don't know if it's this like with an egg toast, and then there's ham and there's cheese. It's just an amazing looking, and it's huge. It just looks so good. Got the shit. Hands the envelope. Mm. That's good shit. Garlic bread. Yes. Mm. Garlic bread. Forget all that other stuff. Just give me a good garlic bread. That's not just has garlic on the mini top. You've got to get like it almost... Um, like a the melted butter and then get it where it just soaks into the bread. Oh my gosh. I do like a good garlic bread. NASA finds garlic bread on Mars. <laughs> yes, Inspector Gadget. Um, Inspector Gadget dealing gar garlic. It needs the garlic, but it does. It's almost like, you know how when you make French toast, how you soak the bread and, um, you know, you put it in an egg. So it kind of, you sell it, set it in a little bit, so it kind of soaks into the bread. Well, that's what they need to do with garlic bread. Um, <laughs> and she's holding back the urge to say that, what she said. I hope I can suppress my juvenile thoughts. <laughs> A little Billy Bob Thornton sounding there, Mrs. <laughs> With Marvin the Martian's peace offering. Yes, garlic bread. There's a Dragon Ball character that goes by the name Garlic. Well, that's my favorite Dragon Ball character then. <laughs> but yeah, I, what they need to do is just make like some melted butter and put the, you know, garlic butter. And then just put the garlic bread in it and let it soak just for a few seconds and flip it over and let it soak and then grill it. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. Oh, so, so good. Um, well, it looks like our poll is uh, 12 votes now with Ro Roadrunner still in the lead. Thank you all. We have 10 people watching. We have 10 people watching here. And uh, Damant's asking Mr. Angel if you leave your garlic, did you leave your garlic bread on Mars? I would really like to. I don't watch Dragon Ball or read Dragon Ball, but um, that would be that's a cool name. That's a cool name, a garlic. Oh, he's evil. No, no character named Garlic should be evil. Garlic is not evil. Shame on Dragon Ball. How much garlic does, how much garlic goes into a dish? Other people, um, what, maybe a clove, maybe two. Me, three heads of garlic. <laughs> oh, I do. Mm. 
Well, we went out to eat. Last, uh, I don't know why this is. We went out to eat last night. We went to the steakhouse where they are notoriously afraid to cook my steak bl blue rare. Uh, just notoriously afraid to do that. They always overcook it. Well, we have one manager there that knows me by name. We know her. Um, and whenever we're there that um, I know that it can be cooked well. Well, we they went and they cooked it. And uh, they cooked it real. They cooked it perfect. Uh, actually, the owner cooked it back there. And um, it was perfect. But... I very rarely get it cooked that rare. So the se they put regular seasoning on it. Well, you know, when you're cooking it, some of the, you know, kind of the juice goes out and it kind of allows the the seasonings to mellow a bit on the steak. Well, when you don't have, when you literally have it put on the grill long enough to just put a little color on the outside, that seasoning doesn't have a chance to mellow. So I have to remember now when I buy my, order my Blue Rare steak to make sure they do light seasoning because it was a little bit too uh, seasoned. Uh, but they got it cooked right, so I was happy about that. Very, very happy about that. When your friends are being awful people, just know garlic bread is there for you. You heard garlic was the poor man's spice because it was native to Northern Europe. I don't care. And uh, Mr. Angel says, I never leave home without garlic sauce. I might meet a human. Mm. And uh, yes, uh, I don't care because I love garlic. <laughs> the, the Northern Europeans, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And they call it mellow yellow. Mr. says ketchup on humans is so Klingon. Barbarians. True culinary lovers of human know that the only right sauce on a human is garlic sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, it's an hour and eight minutes into the show, everybody. I'm so glad you all are here. It is 2.08 in my neck of the woods, which is the east coast of the United States. And um, I thank you all for coming out to the show on this special time. Um, uh, normally, we are at 10 a.m., but because of exhumering circumstances, I had something I had to do this morning. Um, but I did get here at 1, and this is fun. I'm really enjoying this show. What is our next slide here? <laughs> okay, this is a naughty one, everybody. <laughs> I'm just going to put it up there and let you, let you guys enjoy that one. I, that's the only naughty one I have in here. And we are an 18 plus channel, so um, yeah. <laughs> I d okay. <laughs> oh. Reach a woman's heart. <laughs> friend, best friend, girlfriend, garlic bread. Only garlic bread has no end. Garlic bread will always stay by your side. So spread the truth. And that's why I love human piccata. <laughs> You're going to show that one to your hubby when he wakes up. <laughs> so that, okay, I will, um, I will, I will get that to you. What did you, what are you, yes, yes, it was what you saw. Yes, that man, it was what you saw. <laughs> so garlic bread it will always be there for you everything else will end i will i will send it to you uh when the show is over i'll actually made an, a note bucky do you need me to send it to you also i can um i just need to make myself a note <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man, 
remind me to send them. I can't find a piece of paper. Oh, you took a screenshot. Don't worry. <laughs> that, that other one was intended to reach your heart. Another part, maybe, maybe. And her gynecologist is going to be in for a surprise. <laughs> The perfect candle doesn't... Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it does. Oh, wouldn't a garlic bread scented candle... Oh, I just... I think that would be lovely. I wonder how if you could do that. I love this. Number one, I love the smell of bread. Um being heated up or baked just that smell oh and then with the garlic and that little overtones of butter oh my gosh that would i would i don't buy candles i don't buy them they're too strong they give me a headache i'd buy a garlic bread candle a scented candle i'd buy that in a minute i'd be out there now i'd be off of this show off of this show say bye bye going to get this Yes, it's just like Arnold's exploding woman head. No, I'm not even going to go there, Stunning. But yes, that would be delicious, but I would crave garlic bread and it would, you know, uh, yes. <laughs> Smells garlic, gets aroused. Ooh, unintentional Pavlov reaction. <laughs> Please get rid of the candle, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> me garlic bread baking in the oven hurry up 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 come on come on come on come on, come on. Mm, not quite not quite because it's got to get crusty it's got to get that crunchy flavor it uh Mm. It's got kind of like have crunchy on the outside, but then you have that soft, gooey garlic butter in the middle. Mm -hmm. I love garlic. Do you guys realize, understand? I love garlic bread. <laughs> I love this one. Not every place you fit in is where you belong. Yes. Yoda was staring. Yoda was staring. Yoda was the you staring down at the silo which was a uh, garlic bread cooking the candle was a garlic bread scented candle well it wasn't stunning it wasn't he was looking at garlic bread in the oven was what it was supposed to be Yes, we're talking. We're talking about garlic. I'm talking about still talking about garlic bread because I love garlic bread. <laughs> Did you guys figure that out yet? I love garlic bread. I could just have garlic bread. No, stunning. No, it is not. No, it's him looking down at the garlic bread bacon in the oven. And this is an orange slice in a garlic. So not every place you fit in is where you belong. Orange does not belong with garlic. Never, ever, ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Not you. Not you, banana bread in the middle. The best bread ever. Even though I do, my mom makes a killer banana bread. Hey, you no, know, it was not suggestive at all. No. My mom does make a killer banana bread. And um, so that is, garlic bread is like my most favorite bread. The banana bread, I consider more like a dessert. It is delicious. Stunning's mind's in the gutter. I can't help it. It's in the gutter before he even comes into the show. His first words were boobs. So. What can I say? So, yes. Thank you for being, oh, not you, the best bread ever. 
I love banana. When we were growing up, we we didn't have a lot of money, and our neighbor would bring home the um, bananas that were starting to go uh, overripe that they couldn't sell, and he'd bring them over in uh, the uh, a wheelbarrow, literally a wheelbarrow full of bananas. Um, and so, you know, my mom would put some in the freezer for later, but um, she would make a banana bread and it was the most divine banana bread ever. And it was like our dessert. And I still love that banana bread. We had banana bread, banana pudding, you know, things with bananas because that's what we, you know, we had. And she made a cornstarch pudding for it. Um, uh, oh, it just was so good. Um, so uh, banana bread is like one of my favorite. And it's it's the homemade banana bread. Now, I've had factory made banana bread, which is disgusting. But uh, the banana bread my um, makes is, uh, it, I just think it's divine. It's divine. Your sister always, um, uh, you don't like banana bread? You don't like, do you don't like the homemade banana bread? Oh, well, then I won't make it for you. I save it for you. I won't save it for you anymore. I know. I picked the memes. Some of them were naughty. Your sister always loved the spiciness of bananas. Turns out she's a bit allergic to them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> bananas aren't spicy. So, oh, my gosh. How bad is that? Also, boobs are a female body part that don't belong in the gutter. I agree. I agree with that. Uh, pondering garlic. <laughs> Ooh, zucchini bread. I've had some zucchini bread. That is good, too. My mom's been banana bread is more like a dessert than... Um, oh, if you're allergic to bananas, I understand that. I would, I would not like them either if they made me ill. <laughs> if they put me into anaphylactic shock, I don't think I would like them. So I understand that totally. Um, it does. I love it. The garlic is pondering. You know, somebody sitting here doing that. I just, that just makes me laugh. Oh, a banana allergy can also be a latex allergy. Very interesting. So you definitely be very, very interesting. They don't do a lot of latex, hardly anything anymore. I guess balloons. Might be the only thing you worry about. I don't even know if they do latex gloves anymore. Yes, EpiPins. EpiPins for everyone. Yes, he is the garlic master. I am the garlic master. I see recipes calling for one clove of garlic. One clove of garlic is not enough for any recipe. Unless it's a recipe for how to cook one clove of garlic. Even in this case, used to. Uh, balloons, boah ha after the meme earlier. Yes. A lot of hospitals still use latex a lot. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. I know, I didn't think about it, Dad, ma'am. Sex is great, but have you tried garlic bread? <laughs> Speaking of all those other memes. <laughs> I think I'm in the garlic bread Trump sex stage. I think we have one more meme. <laughs> <I love them. laughs> oh, Becky says true. And dad man is sad. Bye, Alaska Jeff. Thank you for stopping by. See ya. <laughs> and our last meme for today. Me, when the recipe calls for one clove of garlic. 
<laughs> yeah, I see about probably two heads of garlic there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> really, Miss is going to accuse you of being in the gutter with memes like this? <laughs> a little naughty aren't we yeah i think it's okay to be a little naughty i need to start putting a disclaimer that's on the description that this is an 18 plus show <laughs> especially if i do them in the afternoon not enough garlic he is clearly an amateur yes yes garlic is yummy i love garlic I love garlic. I love garlic bread. Oh, I love Italian food with lots of garlic. I hope my hubby likes garlic because <laughs> everything I make, um, I, if I'm using garlic, it's got garlic. Well, the, the stream can be a libido positivity. <laughs> My goodness gracious. I believe, yes, that is our last meme today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. You know, the last few shows have been like short, like an hour. And it's like, oh, so <laughs> yeah, I love garlic. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, says, uh, I love garlic. I'll, I'll fake it if needed. <laughs> and Bucky says, save it for off stream, dad, man. <laughs> <laughs> dead man is laughing at that well it is 122 into the show 222 in my neck of the woods which is the east coast of the united states we have how many people watching over here we have 10 people watching over on youtube we have one person watching over on the twitch side thank you all for watching over here and we have 12 votes on the stream um uh, when the recipe, uh, Snorty Poo says, I traded in my libido for a nice neck support pillow and some comfy slippers. When the recipe doesn't say garlic, adds garlic. This ice cream is going to be a surprise. <laughs> and Bucky says, that sounds like a good idea. Instead of lying rose petals on the bed for Valentine's Day, use garlic petals. <laughs> I would love to grow garlic and then make one of those where they braid it, the garlic, and just have it hang and then just use it as you need it. Oh, gosh. I really like garlic. <laughs> I like garlic and anything to do with garlic. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. So anyway, well, you know what time it is, everybody. It is 124 hour into the show. We've done our puzzle. We've done our celebrations. We've done our memes. So now you know what time it is. It's time for our shameless promotions. And the first one I'm going to do is for Team Park Streamers to raise $5,000 for Children's Hospital of Orange County. I said it in the beginning. I said it in the end. If you've already donated and you would like to still support them, you can take and this link that i'm getting ready to put in the chat you can um copy it and put it in other uh social media accounts they have gotten um three thousand two hundred and eighty one dollars the last time i looked right before the show um so go ahead and if you want to post this in other social media accounts and let's try to get them up to the five thousand dollar mark before the walk in july that would be fantastic also, let's not remove it. Let's go forward. Um, I do uh, impromptu streams. Blocking out the boredom. I'm bored, so let's build something. You can follow me on Twitter and Threads or X, Twix, whatever you want to call it, and Threads to find out the time that I do these impromptu streams. 
Also, my morning musings with Mrs. Deadman Walking, usually Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. and Sunday at 1. In situations like this where I can do it, I do it at 1 p.m. because I had something at 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, right now, all of the streams are puzzle streams because we have I have a lot of stuff going on in my life, um, as you can see from this morning. Um, and... Uh, it makes it easier for me to be able to be sane and for my family to still love me uh, because I'm not standing in front of the computer all day doing work. Uh, so, yes, um, thank you guys for uh, supporting me in that anyway, um, e even though it's kind of changed some. Thank you so much for that. And let's see, what else do we have? We have a P.O. Box address. You can check out info pages on my YouTube and Twitch page uh, for the address. If you would like to send something to me, a card, anything over there, um, to me, to Dadman, to Angelo, my youngest who streams on Twitch, uh, you can um, send it to the address that's in my page. And uh, cool. And we check it about couple times a week and to see if there's anything there. You can also support my channel with through Kofi and Throne. Kofi is a donation site where you can do a one-time or a monthly donation. And the Throne is a creator creator's wish list. And it's really cool because it's private. So you can send stuff to me and I don't learn your address. I can send stuff to you and you don't learn my address. Uh, I mean, you can send stuff to me and you don't know my address. I don't know your address. I can send stuff to people. They don't know my address. Nobody's address is known when you use Throne. Um, and both of the uh, addresses are those Mrs. Dad Man Walking 55 with no punctuation at all. Bum, 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 bum. And these are some of the gifts I have received. Some of them have, were not through Throne, um, but I put them all on here anyway. You can see all the gift builds of these um, on um, YouTube and Twitch under uh, gift builds. Um, and uh, yeah, we've done them all. Uh, Ping Bear times three. And thank you, Mr. Angel, for stopping by. I appreciate it. We have uh, Peeing Bears time three, Stonehenge, Elizabeth Tower, Starry Night, and two Destiny Ghost builds um, from Destiny 2. Uh, thank you all for those. And also the one we just done, which I call the Sakura House, um, has been completed. I'll put that on this list also. Uh, I have live streams and VODs. YouTube, Mrs. at Mrs. Dadman Walking 55. Twitch, Mrs. Dadman Walking. No punctuation, no number. You can also find my streaming schedule on Twix at M. Dadman Walking. And as Dadman said tonight, you can join him at 9 p.m. Eastern Time to talk Buck Rogers in the 25th century. And that is the link for that. So, um, Go over there and check it out uh, tonight. Even if you don't like Buck Rogers in the 25th century, they are fun to listen to. Uh, so if you if you can be there, be there. Uh, it's a very good stream, and I believe um, I believe a Hungry Boy is going to be there. Uh, JT Kirk, I believe, will be there, and Daisy Blossom. They're the regulars. Um, I don't know. Some of them might be switched out. Sometimes uh, things happen, but those are the regulars that are normally there, and they're really fun to listen to. I'd recommend you guys going over there and, and watching it. Um, and I believe, let's go and end this poll. We have 12 votes. I'm going to end it now. And the winner is, where'd it go? The winner is, come on, show me the poll. Why is it not showing me the poll? Did I end it? Here, let's let's get down here. Let's let's find this poll. Why will it not show me the poll? This is crazy. Where's the poll, everybody? I've lost the poll. Did I is do you guys see the poll? Let me refresh this. Maybe it's the problem. Yes, here's the poll. I just need to re refresh it. With 12 votes, Roadrunner won uh, with six votes. Foghorn Le Leghorn won with four votes. And Marvin Martian won with two votes. 
And Mar Marvin Martian was with, let's see, six, four, two votes. And Sylvester the Cat, poor little thing, with zero uh, of the votes. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, suffering succotash. Um, but yes, Roadrunner is the winner. So thank you to all 12 people who participated in that poll. Um, that was fun. Uh, there's so many Looney Tune characters that I couldn't put favorite because, you know, they're like I said, there's a uh, um, Foghorn Leghorn, Wally Coyote, uh, Tweety Bird, uh, Bugs Bunny. I didn't put Bugs Bunny in because most people would vote for Bugs Bunny. Um, but yeah, so cool. Thank you guys so much for that. So on that note. I am going to say, let's see, make sure I've got every all the chats here. Yes, I do. I'm going to say, see you next time. And remember to be kind and to show love. And to remember that you're not promised tomorrow. So go to bed each night with no regrets. And most of all, I wish you peace. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful uh, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.